I don't know if you're familiar with the science that have looked at sialic acids and the low-grade inflammation that's associated with sialic acids. This is something that we've talked about on our MedCram channel where we talk about meat and dairy products, that there are antigens, regardless of though they're grass-fed or organic or what you do to them. They're just intrinsic in the, in the product of, of a non-human animal, uh, particularly red meats, not in chickens, not in fish, but particularly red meats, that when you ingest it, those antigens – and this is new 5GC that we're talking about, uh, sialic acids, get incorporated into your body. They get absorbed whole and there are enzymes in your body that puts these antigens and sticks them on the surface of your cells, uh, thus creating a, a low-grade inflammatory uh, condition that, uh, that has been shown pretty succinctly that at the antibody levels in your body against these antigens correspond to the amount and the type of sialic acids that you ingest in your body, whether it's cheese, whether it's beef, pork, lamb, all of these things sort of lead to that. There was a study that was done a couple of years ago that showed beyond a shadow of a doubt that antibody levels are determined by that. So the, the conclusion is, is that are you increasing autoantibody inflammation in your body when you eat these types of things? And, and the answer to that, I believe, is yes. I mean, inflammation is what generates disease. Uh, if you look at that Adventist health study, I mean, Adventists are known well for living seven to 10 years longer and, and not because they're just sort of like lingering out. It's just that they're healthier and the diseases that come on that hit every human being, regardless of who you are, they just come later in life. Uh, there was a recent study that looked at COVID-19 uh, in physicians and nurses in the United States and uh, other countries in Europe. And they found a risk factor of those that uh, had a low carbohydrate, high protein diet. So Paleo, Atkins, whatever you want to call it, low carb, low carb, high protein diet had four times the risk of having severe COVID-19 in that epidemiological study versus those that had a plant-based diet. So if you're going into COVID already with a low grade inflammatory process, and then you add on top of that, that gust of wind, that's just enough to blow you over the edge. That, that, that's a problem. I, I'd rather have a situation where you have low grade inflammation. I'm happy you brought up that research talking about the antigens when we're consuming animal products. I want to go there. I'm curious, as somebody, you know, a lot of people listening, whether they're vegan, vegetarian or not, have consumed animal products at different points in their life. Do those antigens ever go away for somebody who adopts a vegan diet later in life? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, this, the, the, the research has actually shown that for, for most of those antigens, they get recycled every, every month or two. Uh, I, I, if I remember, I, I, I'm trying to remember exactly the time period that they said it was either a few weeks or a month or two, but absolutely, these antigens are going in and out of the system all the time. Cells are being turned over. So it's not like once you eat this, this is, uh, this is part of your genetics now. Yeah, no, it, it gets turned over very quickly. If you enjoyed that clip, press here for the full episode. I'll see you over there. If you want to stack the deck in your favor, the science says have your calories when your insulin is the most sensitive, and that's in the morning. The conclusion is, is that are you increasing auto-